new day here in Charleston. Last night we got some carry out at a um, sushi restaurant and slept at the hotel and now we're up and ready to go. We are at Joe Riley Waterfront Park. You can see this super cool fountain behind me with the ocean in the background. And then here also is the famous pineapple fountain, which we will show you shortly. So what are we gonna do today? After this, we're playing an escape game and then we're going to the Naval Museum. All right. So why is this a famous fountain? It's the pineapple fountain. I don't know. It's just, they, that's what it says it's in like, all the reviews that oh, you'll see the pineapple Eva fountain. Eva just slipped. Oh. <laughs> is it the SpongeBob fountain? I know, right? Hey, what you got there on your face, Ella? TPF mask. It's a TPF mask. How cool is that? Get your merch. Merch, Amy, merch. Oh, sure. Get your TPF merch. What did I get you for uh, Christmas? What TPF merch did I get you? Leggings and t-shirts and all sorts of fun stuff. Where's that cool, those cool leggings? You should be wearing them today. Um, well, I can only wear them once because it's just one pair of leggings, you know, until I wash them. So I see. What are you gonna do? Um, but look at all these cool buildings along this street. They're so interesting and I love the history. Think we're going to see any dolphins? We or saw that we saw some yesterday. Sharks. I saw it. So apparently, when you when they say swim in the fountain, you can enjoy ankle wading on the first two steps only. Oh, I got you. Yeah. How would you like to have that house right on the other side of that? I fountain? know, isn't that cool? Overlooking the ocean and the pineapple. Is that a fountain. house or is it a? Might not a be a house. A might business. Be a business. Gallery, it says. It's a oh, gallery. It's a city gallery. Oh, it looks like there's some living spaces in the top. That's really cool. So the pineapple is the symbol of hospitality. All right. So we are in Charleston during off season. Here we are, mid-January. So coming up, we have some videos from Savannah, right? That's gonna be in the mix. Yep, our next stop is Savannah. And then Orlando, or maybe Daytona Beach? Maybe, we'll see how long Savannah takes because it may be dark when we get to Daytona Beach. Mm. We'll see what happens. All right, so we got Amy holding the uh, 360 camera out the window. Yeah, so we're at Rainbow Row right now, which is a famous street here in Charleston. And it's got all these lovely homes, all painted these bright colors. And so it's pretty cool to see. We got all these, these carriage doors. These must be super old homes. Although they look like they're in super good shape. And we're about to the end of it, I think, because it actually started back there a little way. See, these would be homes that I could, I could live in. Oh yeah, I think a lot of people could live in them. <laughs> but look, they've got this walkway over here along the waterfront. And here is a carriage tour right here. This is something you can do. It costs $35 a person, at least right now. And it's got a big old horse in it. Look at this tree. It'll take you on a historic tour. Yeah, there's a very famous tree in town, which we haven't seen yet, called Angel Oak, I think. And a lot of people just go there to take their picture with it because it's massive. All right, we're going over a well-known bridge here in Charleston, huh? What's it called? I don't know. It's not that well-known, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge. There you go. We're now at the Naval Museum at Paradise Point. This is in Mount Pleasant. And behind me, you can see this huge aircraft carrier. This is gonna be cool to look at. And the Fort Sumter tours, you can actually leave from here as well as leaving from Liberty Square like we did yesterday. Are you sure about that? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I read it.
We are currently at the Naval Museum at Patriots Point. And for the price of admission, you get to tour, tour several, you know, these huge ships and aircraft carriers and submarines. You also get to look at a memorial. Let's see, there's a museum exhibit, Vietnam exhibit. And from here, you can also take the ferry to Fort Sumter, which we did from Liberty Square yesterday. Yeah, and it's right here on the on the water, which is surprising, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't surprise me. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I just I, I said that to catch you off guard. It's a big giant ship. So this actually is quite impressive. I didn't expect this, like a whole indoor area. Me neither. Area. And we're actually on board the aircraft carrier right now, aren't we? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Eva is requesting you to slow down because she wants to look at everything. Oh, we need to go slower? Okay, what do you want to see next? And Skylar's still reading the first of placards up there. So. Skyler likes to read things. We can do a museum like this in about 12 minutes, where it takes other people a couple hours. Courage. It's not a lack of fear, which would be a lack of intelligence, but it's, it's how you handle your fear. It's not a question of heroism, it's a question of doing what you need to do because nobody else can do it. There are so many other soldiers, airmen, Marines, that have done acts that, that just weren't recognized that, because there were no witnesses left. The real honor for the Medal of Honor is that a handful of young men <clears throat> who were with you at a difficult time thought you were worthy. It's hard for me to convey how important freedom is. And I didn't appreciate it. And I don't think anyone can until they've lost it. We're in a free country. And we, why are we? Because a lot of people, black, white, yellow, went and gave their lives so that you and I can live free. Huh? Simple as that. And that's why we come places like this so we can remember their sacrifices so they can live free. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's the, that's where the doctor's office is in there. There's a fake dead body. <laughs> there's a fake dead body. Well, I, I, I think it's a fake live body. I think it's a fake live body, yeah. <laughs> As we're kind of in the midst of our tour, what are your thoughts? It's very cool. It's way better than I expected. It's much bigger. There's tons to see. And it's very well maintained and very well done. Chemical warfare agents. Oh, wow. How many doctors? The, uh, this is the operating room. Wow, they had so many people on board that they had their own operating room. That's amazing. So we're gonna go on up to the flight deck up top. I lost Amy and the kids. I have no idea where they are. So uh, I'll be your tour guide.
All right, so this place is massive. It's, it's huge, it's like a city unto itself. We've been uh, downstairs, upstairs, up to the flight deck, up, up to where you are steering the ship and all of the, the radar and it's incredible, absolutely amazing. This is the best, by far, the best, uh, you know, like, uh, maybe a naval museum or you know we've been on different ships and things like that this is by far the best one and we're not even done uh, we've got to go over here to this ship uh, the kids are over there right now a couple of them I don't know where the rest of them are I don't know where Amy is she disappeared a long time ago she might be in the brig uh, but we gotta we still have to go over there so oh there's a submarine but the sign says the submarines closed so we've been in submarines too in the past, but this is just, this is amazing. If you come to Charleston, this is a must do. At present, we're tracking a Russian Tu-95 reconnaissance aircraft, also known as Bear, on our air search radar behind me. His coordinates are then manually tracked on the main plot board here. Soviet reconnaissance aircraft have been buzzing the fleet for days, and it looks like any minute that Bear will be flying right over us. Over the last several years, the Soviets' presence here has steadily grown. There he goes. Yeah, they love to photograph us and complicate our ops at the same time. Following that, Minoski? Now, where you entered is the SP-4 radar tech, and he keeps track of the surface ships around us. Until a contact is identified, it's designated a skunk. Whoa. Why don't you give a rundown? This has been crazy, huh? Incredible. You could literally spend all day here, maybe even a couple of days, we got here at about three and a half hours before close and we'll be hard pressed to finish it before they close. Just so much to do and so much to see. We finally finished uh, the USS Yorktown and that alone took a couple of hours and we went at a fast pace. Now we're over here at the USS Laffey. We still haven't done the Vietnam experience. So we still have a ton left to do. It's, it's amazing, I highly recommend. What blew my expectations out of the water. So. Don't don't miss the uh, the Laffy just because it's a smaller ship. They got a really cool kind of interactive war games. Uh, yeah, we just experience. finished that and that was really neat. Kind of like your Disney Universal level experience where it's very immersive, makes you feel like you're you're in you know a war situation. So pretty cool. Yeah. So Skylar's lost. He's reading all the signs. <laughs> He's reading all the signs. I'm gonna go finish touring the Laffy because we don't have much time left. Yeah, and we're all hungry. Well, <laughs> not yet. Almost hungry. We yes. know we're gonna get hungry. We're 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 anticipating hunger. Okay, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> we're all hungry. Well, not yet. We're anticipating being hungry. <laughs> we're, our, we're, we're talking about dinner. <laughs> This Vietnam experience, awesome. This is so cool, did not expect this. So the Vietnam part of this is off the charts. So incredibly cool, very well done. And you know, like Amy said, you got to spend hours out here. Usually we we don't. We'll spend a very short amount of time in places like this, and we can spend four or five times the length 
that we've been here. Uh, so you need to come early. Definitely come at open if you can. But uh, boy, it's just really, really am amazing. The attention to detail and everything's incredible. So um, we're losing battery on this camera. I don't know how long it's gonna last. But then we're losing battery on our wireless mics. So not sure how long those are gonna last, but um, we're having a great time in Charleston, South Carolina. This is a uh, incredible stop if you are looking for a, a vacation destination. So now we're over at the other side of the gangway and we're here at the Vietnam Experience. This is incredible. It makes you feel like you're right in the middle of the action. You're getting to tour these real vehicles and helicopters and ambulances and, and you know, what looks like a mess hall. They're putting you right into the center of the action where it's, you're, you know, you're seemingly um, in the middle of a battle and all these things. It's, it's amazing. I've never seen anything like this. This place is incredible. Highly recommend it. Definitely worth the cost, which by the way, for our family of um, seven was just over $150, five stars all around. Definitely the thing to do if you come to Charleston. Now we're waiting for our, kind of our, uh, I'm trying to think of a nice term, our, our, our different child. Our intellectual child. Yes. <laughs> well, he's he's still on the first ship. <laughs> he's in law school. So if that tells you anything, he's very brainy and he loves to read everything. And so we are here about 40 minutes from close and he's still over there. <laughs> and so I just called him and said, you better hurry or you're gonna miss it. So anyway, great place, great place. Can't recommend it enough. So what are we gonna do the rest of the night, Amy? Well, I think we're gonna eat and then we're just gonna head back to our hotel because we're leaving early tomorrow morning to drive along the coast. Um, we'll be going through Savannah, be going through Daytona, Vit Daytona Beach and making our way eventually to Orlando. <laughs> enjoyed this look at things to do in Charleston. If you're ever here, we hope you will check out the Naval Museum and some of the other cool things we did on this trip. Hey, there's a lot of things that we didn't do. Like, like we things. didn't get to that tree, right? Yes, there's something called the Angel Oak where a lot of people love to take their photos with it. This huge tree and it's just very, it's a landmark. So. And there's, there's like what, antebellum homes and different things. A lot things. of plantation homes, a lot of historical stuff. So we hope you all check out some of the things we did and some of the other things we didn't do. All in all, we hope you had a great time following along. Safe travels, everyone.